Are you still using Excel or spreadsheet to manage your project or tracking your tasks with your teams? Use this instead and save you at least 25% of your time. Do you know that 25% to 40% of a project manager time, you see here tracking, monitoring 20, 30% and also this documentation administration, 5 to 10%, right? Of a project management time are spent just on project tracking, monitoring, and documenting. So in this video, I'm going to show you a new tool that you can use to free up your time spent on project tracking and monitoring. If you are familiar with Excel and Google Sheet, it is pretty similar. But the beauty is that this Microsoft Loop, which is the new tool that is only launched last year, it's developed for team collaboration so that you don't have to keep track on which version of Excel report, uh, elaborate further when it goes on, right? And uh, you have every member of your team is working on the same project tracker and you can create a simple tracker like this, like a dashboard over here or multiple project tracker on the same page that so you can come back to this page and see the on-time or real-time progress. So let's jump into it here. This is a project tracker, okay? We have all these table that pretty similar to Excel, right? But the beauty is here, let's say from here, let's say I want a date, I just click here, I can select a date. You see, over here, I can select like stages and I can create checklists uh, like this. That may not be easy to create inside Excel. Let me show you step by step how to do this. Now, watch this till the end. At the end, I'll show you a shortcut and how to create this uh, project tracker easily like within seconds. If you're not familiar with Loop, you can go back and watch this video on the Microsoft Loop components. So what are the components that is in here? So these are all the components. So in my previous video, I elaborate on each of these. Now today I'm gonna to show you just using one component which is table, yeah? So you create a table. Now this is an empty table. I'm gonna show you how to create something like this. So the first one here, let's put action exactly the same. And then here, owner, it's very similar to Excel, right? As simple here, you just need to click here plus to add a column. So you have like one, two, three, four, five, six column. Let's create six column, right? Five, six. Okay. And then we have uh, end date, target date, project stages, A stage here. And then we have this uh, checklist. And last, the notes or remarks. Okay. You come here, it's very simple. This is basically tags, right? What kind of action? So here, default is tags. So you don't have to change anything. Now, when I come here, owner here, you can see that there's different icons. Means that it's different database type. So going here, you can change this column to person. Now, when you share this into Teams or your Outlook, yeah, you're in the same organization. When you click here, all the names will come up right over here. Okay, so then you can just select it. All right, this is my cell, then you can select it right over here. Now, if you want to include people outside the organization, so you just leave it as the text. Then you can just type the name as it is. So simplify, if you work within the organizations, then just select person. Then you, all the person within your teams, their name will be over here. Now come to date, same thing, change the tag to date. Very simple, right? You don't have to like Excel, you could select the column and format. So as you add new column, let's say I just add new column right over here. It's all date format, okay? So I can change any date I want, yeah? Now come to stages, this is a little bit tricky, all right? So you go here and then you just go insert, sorry, change column type labels. Yeah. Now, if you already created some label group and, and so on, then you can select 
whichever you have uh, created earlier, labels. If not, I can add a new label group. So I can call it uh, project stages or just stage, right? Make that stage. Okay, then I can put in, let's say, to do. All right, simplify the progress. And then complete. Then you can add on, if you have different stages, a more complicated uh, process, you can create your different workflow stages. And then just save it. So yeah, when you click, you can see this, right? Now, I like to change this to traffic like systems. Let's say, for example, to do this is blank because we have started yet. Progress. I like it yellow and then complete is gray, right? Now, if you have like uh, on hold or problematic, so you can create a red one and so on. Now, if you want to have, let's say here, you see you got progress. There's an icon over here. It's the same thing. Okay, just click here. Yeah, let me just do here. And then you can just put in your emoji. Let's say I have an emoji over here. Okay. Please, and then that's it. That's how you create it here. Yeah? So you can put it here, you can create, make it look nicer. And then checklist, the same thing. This is basically a text, but the beauty is that you can use other components within the text itself. Just click slash, open up, I can create a checklist right over here. So put in task one, then I can pass. To, this is very difficult to, to create inside Excel. I don't believe me then if I go back to my Excel sheet, you see, if I want to create pass 31, even though I click shift, enter, it, will, it won't go down, right? So if you have, if you know how to do that, please leave a comment. Yeah. All right, so I find it difficult to, to do it over here in Excel. So a project is very easy. Yeah, now you don't like this, you can always use like, for example, a number list, one, two, three, or you want to change it to bullet list, you can do that as well. Yeah, so then notes is the same thing. You can leave it as the text. And you can type in anything. You want now in notes you can even insert any of the component right over here like example image as well so you can upload it from your computer if you want to insert image in the notes so this is how you create your project tracker yeah now you have this uh, let's say for example action kb and i just put e over here all right, now, if you want to sort this, it's very simple. Just go to the left side and I can see this. There's a row number one, two, three. And then if I want to sort this E and D, you just hold it and it can move. Same thing if you want to do the column sorting, you can do that as well. It's very simple. Just click and then move it, right? It is very simple, okay? So let me put it back here. So this is how you can create your tracker easily. Yeah. Now the beauty is that here, some of you may be interested to use this in a different view. Like for me, I prefer to see it in a Kanban view. Let me add some of these. This is progress, complete. Here is in progress. So I want to see this in a Kanban view. All we need is come over here and then click board. Basically, you see a Kanban view. So you can see that how many is are in progress, how many is completed, how, how many is still haven't started yet. So that you can follow up with your team members. Then you can move it. If I move it here to progress, if I go back to the table view, you can see that is is already in the progress yeah from to do so how easy is that right now watch out for my next video i'm going to show you how to manage using this table 
so that you can track it and then customize to your individual view. Yeah. So watch out for the next video. Now, the last part is that uh, I'm going to show you a shortcut, right? Let's say you enter here, shortcut that you want to create this table easily. So it's basically just click slash to open up the components. I'll scroll down to the component. You will see over here, templates. Now you have task list, voting table, progress tracker, command board, and so on. So basically, let me show you. This is the same, almost the same as the command board. Now it's with one click, you already completed, right? Created this. Now you don't like this Kanban view, where I say, just change this to table view. There you go. You just created this with all the formatting ready. Now, once you set or download this template, you want to customize like what I do. So once you customize, you're going to use this repeatedly, right? As a template. So my advice is always keep one blank one, yeah? And use this as a template. And then very simple, you just uh, come over here, click this for the whole table, Control C, copy it. And then you go to the new row. Okay, and control V, you created a new template and then you can rename it, right? Project ABC. Yeah. And then this is for project ABC. Now, if you have another new one, then just by all means, just control V. Okay. And you have another one. So use the same template and then save you a lot of time. So if you like this type of video, please do share with your colleagues and your friends and do subscribe to your channel and turn on the notification bell so that every week when we publish new content like this, you will be notified. Meanwhile, I'm Andrew and see you real soon in my next video.